Um, I have with me William Pennion. He's a data center facilities manager at PricewaterhouseCoopers. William, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers recently built a new data center, so we kind of wanted to talk about what kinds of uh, thinking went into it before the project and, and what kinds of things have come up after. Uh, at what point does one start thinking they need a new data center? What are the signs? I think there's a couple signs. The first is obviously um, you have to do large infrastructure upgrades to keep the existing facilities running. And there's a point where you do minor upgrades and then you begin to do major upgrades and you realize there's a finite lifespan. But to really um, accurately predict it, you need metrics. You need real, true, hard metrics month after month, year after year. And that's something we did a very good job of. And that's UPS critical load, server counts, hardware counts which drive that load, and clearly by seeing year after year metrics, we could predict accurately 24 months, 36 months, 48 months out, just when we would clearly run out of space and power. Um, now, what, before you decided to build a new facility, what did you guys do to extend the life of the old one? We did a couple things. Number one is the firm itself went through a large virtualization process. So we VM an enormous amount of our physical hardware to really maximize the asset that was there technology wise. The second thing is we did infrastructure upgrades, which is we built a second UPS room to expand critical load capacity. We added a, a chilled water plant, reduced, get, getting rid of our air cooled chillers, getting to become increasingly energy efficient and provide that headroom on our main switch gear as well. Um, did you guys consider leasing a wholesale colo space? And if you did, what made you decide to build your own facility? There, there, was, a, uh, there was an initiative to look at all options, and we did look at that. Uh, really, the two main options was cost. It wasn't more cost effective. Um, and because, really because of our size. You know, when you're an enterprise size data center, it's very hard to co-locate. When you're in a much smaller scale, that becomes more practical. And, you know, frankly, we're pretty darn efficient. After the facility was built and was up and running for some time, uh, what kinds of realizations about the initial planning and design came along with the hindsight? What, what did you guys find was a really good idea and what kinds of things you wish you'd done differently? Uh, we did an integrated design approach. There was, there's a lot of things I say today, there's really nothing I would change. Um, on what we really learned, there's things like hot aisle containment, some of these leading edge, bleeding edge things. Hot aisle containment works perfectly. Uh, elevate your chill water temperature, water side economizer, keep your, your, your chiller offline. Those things in general worked very good to really minimize, you know, really drive down your PUE and really minimize your, the energy you're using for your cooling and your data center infrastructure. William, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.